Okay, folks, today we're going to be changing the headlights out of a 2013 Range Rover Sport HSE. And I believe that the same procedure happens for um, most of the Range Rover Sports in this era, probably like from a 29, 2009 all the way up to 2013. But it's very, very simple. And the beauty of it is you can do this without any tools. Okay, so the first thing, of course, is you're going to pop your hood. And then you're going to take the front grille off, okay? And your front grille is held on by these four clips. So one, two, three, four. And the way to do that is you push down on the clip and just release it. Push down, release it, push down, release. So I've done that for all of these. Once you release the four clips, you're just going to grab the grille and pull straight forward in this direction. There are two clips down here that are just held in in these little holes, and these are just by friction fit. You don't have to undo anything, they just pull straight out. So again, you're starting here, and you're just pulling straight out once you've released those four clips. You can now pull out the whole headlight assembly by undoing two more clips. Now the clip is up here and over here. So again, over here, and all you're gonna do is lift it up, okay, and you can hear it kind of snap or pop, and then this one over here, you can do the same thing. Just lift up. This one's a bit sticky. Now, now sometimes if you lift up too high, it goes too far. So come over here and you can take, get a shot of this. There is a little plastic stopper here and you have to line up this hole so that it lines up perfectly with that stopper. Okay, so once you have that, you do the same thing on this side. And then once you do, that whole headlight assembly should come loose and you should be able to wiggle it out. So what you want to do, put your fingers in here and just gently ease it out. And it kind of pulls up this way. Now you're going to see this wiring harness right here. All you have to do to release it is to push down on this tab and wiggle it out gently and there it comes okay so really easy it just comes out like that all right so now that you have the assembly out put it on a blanket so you don't scratch it and you're going to be working on this hole right here so the, what you're going to do is just simply pull the cap off some of them are simply just friction and you pull it off others are twist off pretty much really easy to get out okay and this is the igniter plus the bulb all together first you have to unplug it and it's unplugged by this little plug right here and you have to lift the tab before you pull the plug out so it's going to take two hands you're going to get underneath this little thing and make sure that it's lifted up while you're pulling and wiggling that out so that's what it looks like when it's out and then as you're looking down here you're going to see these two lock locks sticking out the side of this all you have to do is rotate it um, counterclockwise just a hair and it'll unlock the entire housing and you can pull the igniter out. You don't have to twist the igniter, you just wiggle and it'll come out. And this is what it looks like. Don't touch this, um, the glass part or any of the electronics here. And really when you replace it, all you have to do is reverse. So you take your, your new replacement bulb, stick it in the same way that you pulled it out from, and it just goes right in. And you're just gonna wiggle it until it sits and seats itself nicely. and you basically reverse all of your steps. And that's it, that's pretty much all you need to do to replace your bulbs. Super easy, no tools, you can get this done in about five, 10 minutes per bulb. Thank you so much, subscribe and enjoy.